Hi Floss Tubers, I'm Dottie and I'm stitching Scotty. Welcome to Floss Tube number 46. Uh, this is September the 18th, 2021 and I just have a lot to share. I would like to thank everybody that just happened to stop by. This is a video about cross stitch and about a retreat I've attended today, as a matter of fact, on Zoom. And I just would like to share that and it's all about my cross stitch and the things I share and I hope you'll find something that you enjoy and you'll continue to come back and for those of you that <clears throat> keep coming back and you've liked and subscribed thank you so much um I really appreciate it um mostly I just do this video for fun um you know if one person watched it eh, that's okay but it just you know just warms my heart that I make a few people happy so thank you so much for your kind comments and it's very very appreciated anyway without further ado we're gonna get on with it I've been to friend stitch 2021 today and I'm so excited I'll tell you about that later I've got lots of present finishes <clears throat> yesterday was very productive and I've also done a good bit of stitching uh, even though I've had a couple of setbacks but that's okay and I've got some past FFOs. I've got some uh, sales that I'm participating in, as usual. <laughs> and I'll be talking about different things. And I've also got giveaways today. Because I did reach my goal, uh, my first goal of 500 subscribers. And I just wanted, I had some things some friends had given me, Stitchy Friends. And I wanted to share those with y'all because I just want to show my appreciation because you keep coming back <laughs> and I appreciate it. But anyway, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, remember to enter the giveaway. You have to like and subscribe the video and answer the question or use the word or whatever I'm going to ask. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. So stay tuned. Right now, I would like to talk about my past finishes, or FFOs. Those are finely finished objects, or fully finished objects, just depending who you talk to. And, you know, I always have some kind of pillow, because I used to tote things around with me. And, of course, this is September, and this is from Pine Mountain. This is a tie one on. <clears throat> no, it's all tied up, excuse me. All tied up, and this is the September. And this one's done on the 10-count Chula. And this is real good to work on if, if uh, you know, your eyesight's bad or, or you just, you know, need to ride in the car or something. It's, it's really something that's easy to work on. It's easy to see. I used three strands of DMC floss and I went over one. And when I was done, all I had to do was just iron it and stuff it into this pillow and tie a bow. Wasn't that easy? Mm-hmm. My kind of finish. So, this was neat, but now <clears throat> I'm going to be like um, some of the others. I'm sorry, this pattern is not available anymore. Unless you find it like on eBay or Stash Unload. So, um, but it was, it was just really fun <clears throat> to do. Uh, the next one I have, it was a free pattern. All you had to do was buy the buttons. And this is oldie but a goodie. And this was the fall or autumn weather vane. And this was from Just Another Button Company. And I really loved these buttons. I saw it on display in my local needlework shop, which is Pandas Crossing <coughs> in Malden, South Carolina. And I was like, oh, I got to have this. So I ordered this. Um, well, I didn't order it. I mean, I just picked up the free pattern and got the little button pack. And it was just so, so cute. Um, and I did the long stitches um, and a bunch of cross stitches and just sewed the little button on it. It was a real quick finish. And um, then I just framed it. And there's one for each season. And this one also is out of print. I've been on the website and I do not see this. But this is old. I mean, really, really old. But this is on a 28 count uh, mystery linen. It's got like a green tint. And... Um, it's two strands over two, and I used a beading needle to um, sew the buttons on with two with uh, two strands of floss in in matching colors. So I really really enjoyed doing this one. 
<clears throat> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is another oldie but a goodie. And this is from Bent Creek. Um, this, this one is what got me started on the Bent Creek zipper kits. And this one... I don't think it's available anymore either. And I do apologize for showing things that aren't available. But this is Autumn Zipper. And this was done, this was a kit. And it's done on 18 count burlap. And they gave you pearl cotton to use. And I can't remember if it was number three or number five pearl cotton. But you used um, one strand of that. And I went over two threads <clears throat> on the 18 count. And it was it was kind of hard to stitch with at first, you know, to get used to. Because I'd never stitched with pearl cotton before. But I love the rich tones. Um, I like the thickness and the coverage on it. I just thought it was really, really pretty. And uh, so this got me to where I ended up doing all of them. And you have seen some of them. I know you saw Summer was the Watermelon. In spring, um, it was some flowers, I think. So anyway, this is autumn. And I used the uh, pearl cotton that they had in the kit for this. And uh, I had Stitch and Frame up in Rock Hill, South Carolina, frame this for me. And uh, I just really look forward to putting this out every autumn. It's so, so pretty. It's one of my very favorites because I love those rich tones. All right, so that's for my past FFOs or finally finished objects. <clears throat> now, I actually finished something. Can you believe it? One of the, well, not the oldest, but an uh, oldie but a goodie that's just been languishing in my pile. And I gave away the book um, a while back. Uh, it was a pattern book back toward the beginning of my floss tubes when I started doing it that this one was in. But this was called a sampler. And it was just a little box. We got this at a retreat at uh, Panda's Crossing. And this was a Charles Craft uh, pattern, if I'm not mistaken. And what I did, what she did was she gave us an unfinished wooden box. And uh, I didn't paint the inside. I should have, but I didn't. Eh, you know, I might put something in there later. But anyway, um, we did this on uh, 28 count, two strands over two with DMC floss. And it just had A, B, C, D. And then on the bottom, it had E to Z. And the little birds. And I just love the little... Uh, you know, basket and everything. And I think that's flowers. Yeah. And then I put some Lady Dots uh, trim around the top. And I painted it with uh, some uh, acrylic paint that I got at um, probably Michael's. Yeah. Probably Michael's. And then I used Min Wax on it because I couldn't find the Brie Wax. And I just wanted, I didn't want like an antique look. But I may change my mind because it's really blue. And I may go back and kind of antique it or something a little bit. But anyway, I really enjoyed doing that one. And it was an easy finish. And it's been done for forever since the retreat. And it's just laid there. And this was at Panda's Crossing. <clears throat> Alright, the next one. Um... <clears throat> I had showed you one of these, and they're in no particular order. Um, you know, when I go camping, I can only bring limited stuff. I brought a good bit this time, though. But I had showed you a Little House Needlework pattern last time, um, a finish from August. So I got January, and I framed that. And this is going to be for my daughter. <clears throat> And uh, I love the little snowman and the little red bird sitting in the tree. When I first saw this pattern when it came when they came out, um, and I got these when they had the floss and the pattern with them, and they were like in packs of two, and they came out every two months. And we did this as a stitch along at Panda's Crossing in our Friday night stitch group, and it was just a lot of fun. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh, got to do it all. So this one's on 28 count, and it's on um, Cafe Mocha um, 
linen French Cafe Mocha, 28 count, and I did two strands over two, and I used all the classic Color Works flosses that were included with the kit. So um, it did not include the fabric. And this frame is from the Family Tree Frame Company. It's a six by six, and it's called Vintage Icing. So I'm gonna get this and pop the, I've got this and I'm gonna have her pop all the different finishes in and out every month. Okay, so there was January. <clears throat> and I don't know what happened to February and March, but here's April. <laughs> I guess they just were at the bottom of the pile. Now this one I was not as happy with because I wish I had changed the colors because I thought it was kind of gloomy. And usually in April, you know, it looks happy, but it was raining in the picture. So I thought, well, I'll just leave a little umbrella like this. And I like the little birds with the little music notes singing. And I thought the border was really cute too. And this is also done on the same French Cafe Mocha linen, 28 count, two over two. And it just pops in and out. And if they don't look straight, I'm just popping them in and out. So, um, you know, I, I do get a little more meticulous with it. And then next we have May. And this is my May. And I really enjoyed doing this one. But it did take a time because, you know, that house it, and the flowers um, took a good bit of time. But I just loved the border with the flowers. And this one's also done on French Cafe Mocha Linen 28 Count. Two strands over two with the classic Color Works threads. And, you know, it's it's in the Family Tree Frame Vintage Icing. So, um, there's my finishes. I was just on a roll. Don't ask me what happened. I must have been afflicted or something. But, anyway. <laughs> four finally finished objects in one week. Holy cow. Who would have thought it? Okay. I must be sick. Um... <laughs> Okay. All right. Next, we're going to talk about my works in progress. Okay. Um, you know, I do love a sale. I just like to know that I'm stitching something, and that's a stitch along. I'm so sorry. I should have said that for any newbies we might have. And, you know, just to know that I'm stitching something that somebody else is enjoying to stitch, it just makes me happy. And, you know, stitching is relaxing and calming to me. Um, and you know, that's just, it's just something I love to do. It's something where I feel like if I'm sitting around, I'm not wasting my time. But anyway, I'm doing the Biscor News Sal, uh, hashtag Biscor News Sal on Instagram. Um, I'm a late finisher because of, um, well, I didn't get it finished because I just squirrel around and do all the things, you know. It's like, oh, I wanna work on this. Oh, I wanna work on that. I might work on something like two or three days, excuse me. And then, you know, like, well, you know, I really wanna work on something else. So, you know, but it makes me happy, so who cares? But anyway, this is a kit. It was limited edition. It's Lizzie K Hoot, and it's a Biscornu. And when I did finish the Biscornu, I'm also going to make the little hoot scissor fob. Uh, they include the fabric, <clears throat> and uh, I had to provide my own threads. And I used the Call 4 threads, which were Weak Style Works. And I had to substitute a couple of those with the DMC. And it did come with buttons and beads that you need to finish these. And this was, uh, they included a piece of 30 count natural linen. And the Biscornu stitch count is 68 by 68. And you're supposed to stitch over two threads. Um, yeah, over two threads with two strands of floss. Hold that thought. Oh, I knocked something over, sorry. And it's okay for me to bend over now. Back's getting better. All right, and this is the Hoot Biscornu that I've got done. I got the top done, as you've seen. And I finally started on the other side, the one with the house. Well, I don't know if that's going to be the top or the bottom. I hadn't decided. And I've started adding the orange. I have one orange stitch, which I don't even know if I see it. Oh, yeah, it's up here in the corner. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, it's time to go to something else. So, anyway, um, 
I may get this done this month. I may get it done next year. Who knows? But anyway, I have had so much fun stitching this. Now, I did change the orange in the candy corn. Uh, it was supposed to be clockwork, and I didn't have any clockwork. And then they said, we'll use 720 BMC. It was either 720 or 920. And that didn't look good. So I took that out and... Um, I picked a different DMC orange um, that I had used on the pumpkins. So that's what I used. And that's two strands over two, and that's hoot. And I'm doing this one with the two tall stitchers. Um, it's hashtag two tall stitchers and hashtag Biscornu Sal. So, and Biscornus are very easy to put together. Um, <clears throat> there's great tutorials with um, hands-on design and tiny modernist uh, be sure and watch those because they're very easy and uh, if I can do it anybody can trust me all right the next thing um, that I participated in was the blackbird weekend sal you know the first weekend of the month well I didn't really count the first Saturday because I wanted a full Friday Saturday Sunday not that I worked on it the full Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because things happen. But anyway, this is Away We Ride by Blackbird Design. And I have, this has been one of what I guess I would call one of my unicorn charts. Uh, because it was one that, from the first time I saw it, I'm like, ooh, I really want to stitch that. And I looked for the chart, looked for the chart, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. And finally, I was, um, I was out of town somewhere, and I picked it up in a shop I was in. So anyway, <clears throat> we'll see what I've done. Okay, I stitched this on, uh, this is not much of a start, okay? Because like I said, the weekend just kind of went haywire. But anyway, it's on 36 count Confederate, Weeks Dye Works Confederate Gray. This is my big weekend start. <laughs> now I did do more stitching during the weekend, but for some reason, it just wasn't on this. I don't know what's going on because I love stitching it. And, oh, I do know what it is. I had, oh, I needed a color and it hadn't come in yet. That's what it was. And I got down to that and I'm like, oh, I'm stopping. And so that's when I stopped. So um, that's what the holdup is. But anyway, um, I used one strand of floss over two threads. And um, I'm really going to enjoy working on this. And I'm going to work on it more, just, you know, more than what I did that time. So that's kind of not much. I just got to wait. I'm waiting on a couple of colors. And when they get in, hmm, yeah, I'll be going to town. And I did not bother to cut my fabric down to size. I just measured um, from the corner <clears throat> and started stitching. And this one uses Gentle Arts um, threads. And um, I think it uses one week style works. Yeah. So anyway. Um, but I'm really, really, really enjoying. I'm going to enjoy working on that one. All right. Now the next sale. And of course I'm doing that one. Let me go back. I'm doing that one with Brenda and the Serial Starter. You know, because they're doing the Blackbird Weekend Sale on Instagram. It's always the first weekend of the month. So, be sure and join everybody um, and post all your stuff because we love seeing what other people do. <clears throat> okay, now the next sale I'm doing is... Um, oh, and I'm also using that for Sampler September. I'm doing it for that, too. Um, because I'm participating in the Sampler September Sale and the Spooktacular September Sale. You know, Spooktacular September is stitching all the fall or Halloween things. It doesn't necessarily have to be Halloween, but you know me. I like Halloween. So, I saw this pattern along with Java Girl, Christy. And when she showed this pattern, I'm like, oh man, that is so cool. Halloween, I can't. I'm stitching. And it's got the little witch, and she's got the scissors, and there's the bat, and the thread, and the cauldron, and the crow, and the cat. And I was like, oh man, I gotta stitch this. So I, co I contacted Christy, and we decided we'd stitch this together. And she's got another friend, and I hope some of you are uh, joining us with this sale. I really enjoyed seeing some of the pictures. Um, 
it's a lot of fun. And this is the first Jardin Privé I've ever stitched. And I'm really enjoying it. And the good thing is, is it only uses eight colors of DMC. But the bad thing was, <clears throat> to be economical, and because everybody's like, oh, I'm stitching from stash. I'm doing this from stash. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, I don't need to be buying anything else. I thought I would just use my mystery fabric. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, of course, I picked a piece of raw linen, and it's 28 count, and boy, I tell you, it has lots of thick threads and lots of thin threads. And I had a time with the pumpkin, but after I got to the uh, cauldron and then got the word Halloween, and then I've got I, because that's where you go, I can't, I'm stitching, I got there and I thought, well, it's time to switch to something else. But uh, I got a lot done. It's on the 28 count, like I said, raw mystery linen. <clears throat> and um, I used two strands over two. And I'm using uh, the DMC black because I meant to use my anchor that's, that my friend Dolores got me. And I forgot to bring it to the, camp to the camper with me. Mm, yeah. So anyway, but I thought, well, this is cute. It's, it's turning out really good, so I, I can't wait to see how this one turns out. But I'm, I'm starting with the bottom, and I think I'm going to do all the words, and then I'm going to go up and probably do like the cat and the tree, and I don't know, and then work my way over. Who knows? You know, tune in next week, and maybe you'll find out. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> um, I liked the vine on the pumpkin. I thought it was really cute. Okay, so there was that one. And that one is hashtag spooktacular September sound. I didn't put that one uh, for the um, sampler September because it's really not a sampler. So. And of course, I'm stitching Scotty, so I put it in my little Scotty dog bag. I just love it. <clears throat> okay. Next, I cannot show you a picture of this one because it doesn't have a finished picture. This is from Teresa Kogut, uh, Creative Whims, and it's in Celebrate book that I got last year at Needlework Expo, and it's called Bad Kitty. And this one, I'm stitching this on up in the attic is the fabric, and it's on 28 count. And I'm doing the two strands of floss over two. And Teresa used all uh, DMC flosses. And, well, no, she didn't. I lied. She did, um, uh, wait a minute. No, some are Weeks Dye Works and some are DMC. I had to substitute one Weeks Dye Works for a DMC because I couldn't find it anywhere. So, and I was like, I want to start this because I've been wanting to start it for forever and I've been looking for that floss. Yeah, but couldn't find it. But anyway, um, this one's going to be eight and a quarter by six and an eighth. And there is my little witch. And I just love that pattern in her dress. And her hair is kind of a greeny black um, and kind of a black. Now, she still doesn't have a face. Evidently, this is Black Stitching Week because I stitched a lot of black. But it didn't seem to bother me. But I'm really enjoying this little pattern on the dress. And um, I can't wait to get some of the other colors and stuff. But um, the dress is what really intrigued me. And I like the way her hair just kind of flows back. But I, I need to put her face on um, so she can look a little bit better. But uh, that's two strands over two, and that's up in the attic. And I want to say it's fiber on a whim. I want to say that, but I may be wrong, so don't quote me on that one, okay? Um, but that is just a fun, fun, fun stitch. I'm really, really enjoying that. And that one is not a sal or anything. It's just something that it's, it's been on my list of things like, oh, got to stitch it, got to stitch it. Can you tell I'm just really in the fall Halloween mood right now? Um, one of my friends asked me, uh, she said, are you um, stitching on Kringle any this week? And I'm like, no, 
no, I'm not feeling Christmas this week. It's, it's all about fall and Halloween. All right. So then, <clears throat> um, Nisi Lynn and I decided, um, well, first of all, we discovered this book, um, from Blackbird Designs, Sisters. And I saw this, um, sampler on the front for Sampler September or Spooktacular September. And I thought, oh man, I really want to do that. So, uh, this one's called At First, At First Cox Crow, go, The Ghosts Must Go Back to Their Quiet Graves Below. And then it's got October 31st, 1894. Now, I do not know the significance of that, but maybe I need to check it out. But anyway, I just like the pattern and I just thought, you know, that's, that's kind of neat. So, um... This one uses Gentle Arts threads, and it's 133 by 155, and they did it on r, r Productions 30 Count. Well, guess what? I don't have any r, r Productions 30 Count, so I had this piece of, yeah, um, oh, yes, I know what this is. <laughs> Yet again, I found something that was hard to get. And this was a picture of this plus piece of oaken. Mmm. And it's 32 count linen. Can you believe it? And I found it in my stash. I couldn't believe I had it. So, I was very excited. It had been laying there for over a year. So, it needed to be used. So, I took it out. And yet again, I'm stitching in black. And they called for onyx. But I couldn't find any onyx. So, I just used DMC 310 because I was like, I got to start this. And, you know, you needed like two uh, things of the fragrant cloves and I only had a half of one. So, when my thread gets here, I'll get to stitch in a different color besides black. Hmm. I should have been better kidding these things up, but that's what happens when you just plan on the spur of the moment. But anyway, um, this one's two over two. And I'm really enjoying doing the border. It just goes, it's a mindless border. I mean, it just is very repetitive. And that is a good thing. And of course, I like to do words because they go fast. Unless they're the big chunky kind. But I just like the modeling in this fabric. Is that not too cool? Mm, yes. But Oaken, that's one of my favorites. <clears throat> and, um... Let's see. And that's in the sister's book. And I got this book at Annabella's Etsy shop. Um, she has a lot of Blackbird things. Um, now, she doesn't, from what I can tell, she doesn't have like a lot of floss and stuff. But boy, she has a lot of patterns. She also has some quilt patterns and, and fabric also, if you're looking for any of that. And she gives a... I want to say a 10% discount. And the service is fast and it's quick. And I really enjoy it. And she also has a floss tube. So be sure and check out Annabella's. Um, it's kind of neat. She has a Facebook group too. That's the one I'm doing the uh, Country Cottage Needlework sale that I'm so behind on. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not showing that one today. Okay. So <clears throat> those are my whips. So that's that's a good thing. So, I've really been working on stuff. Um, I managed to get these done this week. So, I've had two days that I was not able to stitch. Can you believe it? Because um, I ended up in the hospital. So, that was not good. But at least I'm still here. So, that's that's a pleasant thought. But anyway, let's move off that unpleasant stuff. And let's go to Friendship Retreat. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, first, <clears throat> um, I saw this. Mm. Well, you know, I had back surgery this year because I fell down the stairs a while back and, well, it wasn't good. So, um, I was like, oh, I want to go to a retreat, but I can't because I don't know how I'm going to be feeling. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And then there's all this other pandemic stuff. You know, I don't know what to do. So, then I saw this Zoom retreat for Friends Stitch 2021. And I was like, oh, yeah, Tara did that last year. And she said it was great. 
So, thank you, Tara. Um, so, I just signed up for it. And then, immediately, all this stuff started happening. You know, the surgery and blah, blah. And... I forgot I had signed up for it until I got the email saying that, oh, you know, we're going to be sending you a box and here's your pattern and this is your homework, you know, to pre-work to do before the thing if you feel like it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I was so excited because <laughs> I'd forgotten about it. But anyway, this is the pattern that they sent. This is called an Autumn Gathering and this is exclusive to Friend Stitch. And what we did was... um they sent us a PDF pattern. The stitch count is 44 by 44. And they said they stitched theirs on 32 count vintage country mocha linen. And they used two strands of floss. So it would fit on the finishing things that they would include in the kit. So I went in my closet and I found, or not in my closet, but I went in my craft drawers and I found um, some linen that was 32 count. And, you know, I think it was Vintage Country Mocha Linen, but I'm not sure. Then I didn't read any more of the directions, as usual. Hmm. Well, if I had thought, I would have put my initials in the colors that they said I could do. But instead, I just stitched it like it was charted. And I thought, well, you know, this will make a nice gift for somebody. So, anyway, I stitched it. And I posted that picture on Instagram. And then they sent me another message and they said a box was coming. And look at my box. It says, Happy Autumn. Hello, friends. And it said, No peeking. Can you imagine how long this sat in my house? And I couldn't even look in it. Well, I could have, but mm, I wanted to be good, you know, not spoil the surprise. So anyway, <clears throat> we got to open it up the day of the retreat which was today, and when we first opened it up, there was a list that said, or there's a little thing that says Grateful Hearts Gather, and it listed all the different things that they have on the back of, of the uh, box. Okay, first they got us this little notepad with the Friendship logo. I need to talk slower. Oh my goodness. But anyway, and it had where we could write things, and I didn't really have anything to write. I was too busy stitching. But uh, this was made from the Rough House print shop, just so you know. So I was excited about that. And then we also got this cute little uh, thread uh, floss keeper, you know, to stick on your uh, floss ring. Is that not too cute? And she had this made special for us, and I think she said they made it in France. So, I was like, hmm. And I didn't take mine out of the bag because I didn't want to mess it up. Some of the things I did take out of the bag. Sorry about that. But, you know, I had to use them at the retreat. So then, <clears throat> I really sacrificed myself because I did not eat my candy corn. I saved it so I could show it to you. <laughs> but anyway, she brought us two little snacks, you know, because everybody's got to have candy. Then, um, yes, okay, then we have a cute little thankful button, a little acorn button, and then she got us a little uh, bag to put our little project in, a little project bag, and I love these, you know, they've got the little zipper pulls, and they're vinyl, and you can you know, you can see inside and you see everything you have in there. This is a good size for the small kit that we had. Then we had, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Then we had a piece of Less Learn with a, piece, with a needle and some linen. So you could, the floss is mine, but um, we practiced doing colonial knots. So I did those because I had done colonial knots, but I forgot how to do them. Um, and so I decided, yes, I agree with them. I like the colonial knot better than the French knot because it looks neater. So that was on, um, oh, and then we had a bobbin in case we wanted to finish our piece and sew everything. Or lace. No. Not right now. I do lace and I do sew. But, you know, it's like, it was about getting it done. So, there you go. Then we got... Da, 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 da. 
a yeah what is this oh yeah needle threader okay and it says gather and of course there's a I cannot talk tonight there was a tutorial um and can't remember a name. I'm the world's worst with names. I'm telling you. Um, so I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, she showed us how to use this. Just in case we didn't know. Both ends. Because um, we had some pearl cotton to use. Alright. Then we had the little um, stitch guide to show us how to do the specialty stitches. And there were some tutorials about that. Alright. Then... Um, where did I put? We had a finishing tutorial by Mona Bost, or Bost, sorry, um, from the Silver Needle. And she does the finishing there, I think. And she was very, very helpful. And she gave really good directions. And we had directions with pictures. So if you missed something while she was going along, it was great. So we started out, we had this little wooden board, which I'm showing you the back side. And then we got Lady Dots Creates, and there's my finish. I did that all myself. Glued everything on. Hey, <laughs> Dolores, I didn't mess up this time. I did not glob the glue. She kept telling us, do not glob the glue. So I did not. So I glued all my little things on, and it's just perfect. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just full of myself tonight. Uh, this is on 2 over 2. It's on a uh, 32 count vintage country mocha, French, oh darn it, vintage country mocha linen, just like they had. And uh, we used comic board, which you buy at a comic book store or you can get it Amazon, she said. And it was very thin, so I'm going to be getting some of that. And then she also told us about chipboard. And I used all the call for colors that she had charted and did not chart my initials like I was planning. Oh, well. But isn't this cute? I really like this. Then she showed us, um, well, then the two ladies from Bent Creek, well, one of the ladies from Bent Creek, who I also can't remember her name either. I want to say it was Megan, but I may be wrong. So, there you go. I'm so sorry. Anyway, she went, they went to, um three different craft stores and they well they went to Dollar Tree and made a nice vignette out of uh, this item and the other item I'm going to show you and with some of the little bits and pieces for fall and then they showed you a vignette for home goods and then one from Hobby Lobby so you know how to make little vignettes you know to decorate with so that was nice and I enjoyed that then, um, oh dear, where'd my pattern go? Uh-oh. Okay. I just had the darn thing. Don't you just hate it when this happens? Well, shoot. Hmm. And I don't want to cut you off because if I cut it off, the power is going to go off tonight from the flooding that we've had up here in Crusoe. And I won't have time to get my video uploaded. So, we're going to have to go without the pattern. Darn it, darn it. Um, that is just annoying. Anyway, I will show you my owl. This is the part of the owl. It's like a cute little hoot owl that she has. Um, and this is on 18 count burlap. And it's done with 869 pearl cotton. And it's... Um, Talk about not being organized, and I thought I was so ready. It's uh, number five, 869 pearl cotton. Then, <clears throat> the next thing, and here's the pearl cotton. Messy, but at least I have it. But I've been busy stitching. Okay, so next, um, the piece de resistance, uh, which, I, oh, here's a picture of the owl. Okay, no, yeah. There's a picture of the owl. That's what he looks like. I'm so sorry. But is he not precious? Mm. And they did him like in a bell form, like a little stand-up. And I just thought he was so cute. But I did that over two, using one strand over two. 
But we got Week Style Works Flosses, 14. We got three cute uh, special made buttons. And this is called An Autumn Gathering, Let Joy In. Is that not beautiful? And all three of the ladies collaborated on this and they divided it up and each did a special segment and they showed us and explained the evolution of the pattern. And I just thought that was really, really special. I just like the birds and the crows and uh, not the bird. I mean the crows, the houses, the pumpkins. I just love everything about it. And it's just so well balanced. And they did this one on 32 count. And uh, she said this was a Honeywell frame. And she told you where you could get that. Um, you know. So I can't wait to start this. But I did not want to start it. I didn't want to just pick out a fabric and not know what colors I was using. So I waited and I chose not to buy the fabric from them at the time. I was trying to be frugal again. Eh, so much for that. But anyway, <clears throat> I can't wait to start this. So hopefully I will have a piece of fabric with this got thinking about this. We'll see if I have something, just the right. So anyway, that was friend stitch. And then we got a thank you gift. And where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Good grief. Um, <clears throat> we looked in the bottom of our little basket. And there's our little or box. And there's a little pumpkin button. And this button goes for a graph that she's going to be emailing out to us as a thank you gift. Instead of a door prize. Because she said she couldn't draw a door prize. And I thought, how sweet. You know, and everybody got one. So, that's a win-win. I know there were at least 189 people on my Zoom. It was very nice. It was very well run. It was very well organized. And I highly recommend it to everyone. Um, if, if you have a chance, you need to do Friend Stitch or a Zoom retreat somewhere. Because uh, Cecilia Turner with Heart and Hand and the Bent Creek Lady Sisters, um, I mean, they just did amazing. It was, it was just wonderful. And I really, really enjoyed it. So... <clears throat> there is friend stitch okay without further ado now we are going to have haul okay the friend stitch was part of my haul okay the only other thing i got was the punch needle and primitive stitcher magazine the fall issue this is one of my favorite magazines um and <clears throat> i don't do a lot of punch needle but i do do some but I thought this little potions, I thought, boy, that is a wicked cat. Mm. And then, of course, I saw Priscilla and Chelsea's fall piece. And I thought, hmm, I might just have to be doing that one. So there were some really, really cute, cute things in here. And I always look forward to seeing Vonna Pfeiffer's uh, finishes. And she did a basket finish this, this time. And... I used to sell longer burger baskets once upon a time, so I have a few of those I might could make little tops for and finish things. So I was like, hmm, we might could be doing this. So I highly recommend getting the uh, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And no, I do not get a kickback for promoting all these different places. I just want to share that they're it's it's good. It's a good quality magazine. It holds up, and it's not one that I look at and go, eh, you know, I might do something out of this later. I will do something out of this. So, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, now we're down to the giveaways. Oh, yay! I have had so many nice, stitchy friends that have given me things to give away. And, you know, I always try to either have a free pattern or a giveaway or something. And I thought, well, you know, I need to really make it special. Even though I don't have like 10,000 subscribers or 5,000, that's okay. You know, I still appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. And some of y'all are really becoming good friends, you know, just to get to chat. And I really am looking forward one day to maybe we'll bump into each other in a stitch shop or something. Or maybe I'll see you at a retreat in person. That would be nice. Um, but anyway... Without further ado, let's start. I have five giveaways, one for each hundred people that have subscribed. The first one was given to me by a stitchy friend, and this is from Little House Needleworks. This is called The Bookshelf. Now, 
I am still presently stitching this. Yes, I am. It's on my whip go board this year, and I got my stitches and met my goal. But I love this pattern. They did it on 28 count like mocha cashel and used DMC flosses. The pattern's easy to read, and it talks about different authors. So, if you are interested, I don't know why I'm telling you all this about this pattern, but it's a good pattern. I like it. Can you tell? Anyway, <laughs> um, if you want this pattern, use the word book. B-O-O-K. Book. Okay? The bookshelf. Book. All right. The next one, <clears throat> I have stitched this, and I think I've shown it. I stitched mine and used a lavender cloth. This is a Plum Street pattern. Plum Street Sampler Pattern, and it's My Pretties, and I did the one with the witch where it says, take one, please, or no, take one, my pretty, and I did mine a little bit larger, so my container's just a little bit larger, and my candy corn is not going to last long enough to go in a box like that. It's just not. So anyway, uh, this one, if you want this one, say crow, okay, crow for my pretties. The next one, uh, even though you've not seen me show any of these patterns, this is one of my favorite designers, Homespun Elegance. Um, this is uh, from the Country Spirits. It's Delivering Plenty, and I like this one so much, I bought it twice. So I thought I'd give it away to y'all. So uh, the graph is, um, it's easy to read. Um, <clears throat> And it's not got a lot of back stitching, just a couple of vines and around the turkey waddle. And um, it does use some buttons, but um, and, and a charm or two. But they're easy to find. I know Stitch and Frame and Rock Hill has them. But um, I love this pattern. So if you like this pattern, harvest, harvest for the delivering plenty pattern. I don't know why I'm telling you so much about these patterns. What is wrong with me? I must think I'm Vanna White. Oh, my goodness. Now, this next one, somebody gave me this, and you can tell they don't know me very well, or they wouldn't have given me this, because, I mean, it's a beautiful pattern. Don't get me wrong. But it's a full coverage, and you know me. How long would it take me to finish a full coverage? Mm, yeah. Would I even start a full coverage? But this one is and heaven and earth designs. <clears throat> and this one's called The Journey. Okay? And it's got that horse and the girl and then there's the moon and I mean it's just in fact I think it's a Pegasus. I really do. But I called it a horse. So if you want this pattern say horse. And this pattern is Three hundred oh, oh, it's 450 by 337. And they did it on 25 count, but you can do it on whatever count you want. But um, I hope y'all enjoy this. Because when I opened the box and I saw it, I was like, oh, yes, I love this pattern, but I will not be stitching this. It's a little large for me. You know, I'm too much of a squirrel. But if you want that one, say horse. Now, the piece de resistance also, um, the project bag. This is the Lori Holt Apple Project Bag that Sweet Stitching Granny, well, her name is Stitching Granny of 17. It's not Sweet Stitching Granny of 17, even though she is sweet to give me this bag. Can you believe she made this bag and just gave it to me, even though she has her own floss tube and quilty tube. She's a very good quilter, and she's a very good cross-stitcher, too. Be sure and go check out her videos. Um, she has lots of tutorials. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. But anyway, I like the red zipper that goes through here. And this is the back. And then on the inside, <coughs> she just put the plain white fabric. Because you can't see inside because it's all done. But anyway, if you want this uh, project bag, you need to say the word apple. Okay? So, I'm going to hold them up again. And thank you, uh, Stitching Granny, for giving me this. And um, because it takes time to make these things. And, you know, that's something I don't seem to have much of. Okay, apple. Horse. Harvest. 
Pro book. All right. Okay, good luck to everyone, and be sure, do not use the word giveaway, uh, free, prize, um, anything like that. Um, you must be over 18 so I can get your address and, uh, you know, so I can send it to you. Um, it doesn't matter where you're from. If you uh, can accept mail, if your country can accept mail, I will be more than happy to mail it to you. Um, just, I just need to know, you know, your address and things and that you'll actually get it. <clears throat> um, and let's see, what else do I need to say? I guess that's it. Oh yeah. You gotta like and subscribe my video. And if you would share it with your friends because you know, it's always good to, um, share good things. And I hope this is a good thing. Um, I hope everybody enjoys it. And I really enjoy spending time with you guys. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. And um, I know I'm not the most professional stitcher but or finisher either. But I enjoy what I do. And I enjoy um, just, you know, visiting. And this was just a way, you know, while we were kind of shut in to share my craft with other people. And I love all things crafty. Be sure and check me out on Instagram at Stitch and Scotty. And be sure and continue to watch my floss tubes. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all stitch all the things. Have a great week. Bye-bye.